Fuck me, is that scut? Oh my god. Hello again, Nano Tank lovers. So as you just saw, I was taking some uh, extra footage just for the channel, you know, throw on the end of a video, when I noticed the scutarillia. If you've watched my older videos, you've seen that I've been dealing with this for a couple months now. I've been using mainly salt baths. So you use a teaspoon of salt with a cup of water and you mix it up till the salt's completely dissolved, dip the shrimp, the scutarilla falls off. The problem with the salt baths is that if the scutarilla's laid eggs already, like in the, in the gills or whatever, when the shrimp molts and the other shrimp pick at the shell, the, the molt, the eggs will get on them. So you have to remove every molt. If you miss one molt and there's eggs, then the scutarilla, 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 I don't, whatever. But it sticks around. So it's stuck around because I, I don't always get every molt. I mean, shit, <laughs> it's a lot of molts to get. So I got, I'm fed up. I'm doing chemical treatment. Uh, as you saw in a past video, I got Fembendazole, I found it, and I was really just waiting till I saw the Scuderilla again to use it. Well, I saw it, so let's use it. I'm gonna show you how to dose uh, Fembendazole for your nano tank. All right, I got my Fembendazole here. I got my scale. I got a bit of my uh, tank water just in a little thing. So the dosing for this, is 0 0.1 grams for a 10 gallon tank. So for my nano tank, that's half that. So I need 0 0.05. That's where this super accurate scale really comes in handy is things like this, the chemical dosing. Just say I had to dose my two and a half gallon, well then I'd have to do 0 0.025. If I had to dose like my really, really tiny tank, well then I'd just, you know, put a little bit so that it trips the scale basically. The, the, what are those little bowls at? Do you remember? It's like a quarter gallon or something. All right, so let's weigh it out. There we go. That's the dose. 0 0.05 grams. It's really, really tiny. As you can see, it is powder, but it is kind of chunky. So it might not all dissolve. I'm going to give it a really, really good shake in the, uh, in the water here. And then the rest of this, I mean, I'm gonna fold it. I'm just gonna store this in a Ziploc baggie. So I've seen various dosing instructions where you dose this on the first day, the third day, the fifth day, then do a water change. I've seen others where you dose it, wait a week, dose it, and then do a water change. I've seen others where you dose it, do a water change, dose like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dose and I'm gonna watch, probably do a regular water change in a week, even though it's not technically my water change schedule. And then we'll go from there. All right, so let's just put this in the water. Yeah, I'm basically gonna play this by ear because I've never used the Fenbendazole before. I don't really wanna overdose it and potentially harm the shrimp. I'm gonna keep shaking this. You don't have to watch me. Okay, so I got it all pre-mixed here. It's not completely dissolved. I've seen this before. I, it's bigger chunks. They, they just don't dissolve very easily. So they'll go into the tank, they'll circulate around. The shrimps will pick at it too, because it's a dewormer. So it does have to get into their system and then it'll kill the, uh, I believe it has to get into their system. I guess don't quote me on that. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this in uh, back here near the filters because that's where it's gonna get the most circulation and the water will just spread it all throughout the tank. Bam, bam. I'll give it a little rinse out. Now in my salt baths video, I did mention that I had ram's horn snails in here and they were breeding. I took out all the big ones and I took out as many of the little ones as I could. I have seen and I have heard that the ram's horn snail in particular, ram's horn and I think it's the pond snail are very uh, hardy towards the fembendazole. Like it won't necessarily kill them all. I, you should still have some survival. But I'm gonna watch the tank. 
if I start to see them die off, I'll probably dose a little bit of Prime just to stop an ammonia spike. Nano tanks got to be really, really careful. So I'm going to watch this tank like a hawk for the next week. Uh, hopefully I don't see any more Scuderilla. And I mean, hopefully my snails don't all die. Hopefully. So like I said, what I'm going to do for my dosing is watch the tank for a week and then probably do another dose in a week, maybe two weeks, rather than doing three doses in a week. Just because it's such a small water volume, I don't want to put all this stuff in. This guy's kind of acting weird already. I definitely didn't overdose it. So uh, hopefully that murders all the Scuderilla and my tank's finally clean. And once these babies grow up, I can maybe sell a few. One last thing guys, if you do want to put snails back in this tank, like if they do all die, use some activated carbon. Just pop it in the corner there by the filters or whatever. Leave it in there for a couple weeks and it'll take all the chemicals out. This is obviously after we've killed the Scuderilla. That'll remove the chemicals from the water and you can put your snails back in and they'll live all happy and whatever. All right, give the video a like if you learned something. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. We do, we do a lot of how-tos uh, for nano tanks, stuff like that. You get to see my shrimp all the time. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. All right, until next time. Hello. Are we dissolved? No.